welcome to Tangy Subtle Luxuries and my name is Tanya Williams. So today I will be sharing with you my accessories that I like to use because it's fall time, fall is coming up, and things that I like to use to just accessorize my outfit and to give me a little bit more zhuzh to my outfit. So with that say, with, with all of that said, let's get started. So the first item I want to talk to you about is <clears throat> this Dior brooch. Now, this brooch is absolutely beautiful. It is <clears throat> kind of pricey. I did have some misgivings about purchasing it. And then I said, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. The only thing, it's absolutely beautiful. It's tiny. It has the Dior and rhinestones. The only thing that I have an issue with is the back. Now, the back opening it just has this it just it just has this little clasp up underneath here that you just push the pen under it does not um secure the pen and one time i had almost lost this because of that fact so that's the issue the brooch is beautiful but that is the issue that i have with this is the fact of that issue with how they secured the pen i don't even understand why they did that however it does come in this bag that says in this little cute bag which is cute and it does say dior it's a linen bag it's really nice and the uh, uh it's called a tone a tone o t t o n e so it's gold it says it's gold and white so it's really cute this card comes in it and then it comes in this box which was really it was wrapped really cute and the Dior packaging is very nice. Now this brooch, I think this was around $300 or something like that. I'm not sure, but as I always say, and as I always commit to, I will leave the pricing and the website for each item down in the description box. So that is my first one. And what I do with this is I will pin this on top of like, I wear Baker Boy hats, in the fall or in the winter. I wear hats, period. Like I wear um, fedoras. So I would pin this to the fedora. I pin it on, on the side, like here, I would put it on the side of a shirt or sweater. I pin them onto the lapel of my coats as well as pin them together, pin it, put it together with a scarf to hold it together as well. So, and on, and another thing, what I really use these on is my jean jacket. Like I love pairing this on my jean jacket. So that is the first item. The second item I have is this Louis Vuitton scarf. Now this was a gift. Um, this is a nice scarf, but however, I don't really recommend it because it pills so much. I'm not, I don't like pilling. Um, it, it's it's got like a lot of pilling. It's just, that's the one thing that I just don't like about it is the pilling. It's got this on the inside of it. And I'm just not a fan of this scarf. I think this was like about 400 and something dollars. I wouldn't pay $400 for this. I am just not a fan of this one. I mean, I love scarves in general. In the wintertime, I love grays. Uh, I just, with black, and I just love it, but I would say don't purchase it because of that. I don't think it holds up really well and it's just not even worth the money. Now, what is worth the money is this one. I love this scarf. I love it, love it, love it. I brought this um, secondhand from Fashion File and I think it was like, $200 or something like that. And I love this. This is a Gucci scarf. It's silk. It's absolutely amazing. You won't even know it was Gucci unless you look really close. Let me see if I can get you a better picture. You can see if you can see the GGs. I don't even think you can because it's so because of the lights and everything that I have on and because of the lighting behind. But it's got the GGs. I love this right here. This is like so amazing it just gives the scarf just that much more oomph and 
I, I love this. Now this scarf, I wear all the time. I love putting it on around my neck and just putting it on and just having that, uh, that little, just, uh, I mean, that just, it just adds that next step for your outfit. It just makes you feel so good. And then scarves can make an outfit. They're so warm. If you get chilly, you can just put it around you. You can just drape it around you and stuff. Just drape it around your arms, which is so nice about this scarf. I mean, I really do love this. I mean, it is so nice. This is one of my favorite scarves. Like I said, see, you can wrap it around you if you get cold. It's, it's, I love the, I love how, the, how long it is and how wide it is because you can just wrap it around you if you get cold. It's really nice. You can just tie it. I love this. This is the best scarf that I have purchased. I think it is all that and it just makes me happy. I feel good wearing it. And I've had this probably like for about three years now when I just continue to wear it because I just love it that much because it's very nice. So the next thing I have to share with you is this. Now, let me tell you about this. I had to have this. This is a Chanel scarf. I had to have it. It's actually a bandeau, really. I mean, I think it is. It's really, it's a bandeau. But they call it a scarf, but I just had to have this thing. And let me tell you something. It's pretty, but I never wore it. I never wore it. I was thinking about getting it to wrap around my um, cocoa handle, Chanel cocoa handle, but this doesn't go with my Chanel cocoa handle. My Chanel cocoa handle is kind of like sophisticated. It's kind of like that girly. This is like colorful and very far out there. And the two don't even um, come together and, and they're not simultaneously, they're not gonna match. They're not that perfect match. So I would not pair it with that. Now I had to have this and let me tell you something. I would not purchase this again. I purchased this myself. It was one of those things that when I seen this, it, when it came out, I had to have it. It was the 21S collection. I had never seen anything like this. Um, I don't like the same old patterns with the same CCs or anything in there. Like usually the patterns that come out, they have like the CC in it, like right here. And I went for this one because I thought it was just different and I just loved it. And I was thinking of, like I said, putting it on my um, cocoa handle, but it just doesn't look good on my cocoa handle. And I do have the price of this. Now the price of this was this $225, as you can see here. Let me tell you one thing, don't do it. Don't fall into, um, the hype, 250, 20, I mean, $225. I could have did something else with this, with that money. I mean, I, this thing isn't even worth it. I, I think I've had this for like two years or something. I don't know. I can't even tell you. I'm just so kind of upset with myself for even going down that, that road and purchasing this. This is something that I would not purchase again for that much money. I mean, it's not even worth it. it it's pretty. Yeah, it's, it's, it is pretty. But this is something that I am really considering selling because it's no use of having this in my collection. And I, I mean, in my um, closet or my wardrobe, my collection, whatever you want to call it. And I'm not even using it. I'm not even using it. I like to use my stuff and I haven't worn this even once. So that was not a good buy at, uh, at all. It was just, it wasn't planned out. I just went ahead and, and purchased it. Now this scarf right here, I absolutely love as well. Like I'm a scarf person. This one is kind of substantial. It's very long. It's very nice. This is a Versace, uh, Versace scarf. This is the only thing that I have in Versace. I'm not really a fan of Versace. I, um, I love this one though. I mean, I love the print on this. It is, it's very nice. This scarf is very warm. Let's see what it's made out of. I think this is wool. 
<clears throat> yeah, I, yes, it is wool. And it is, it's so nice. I mean, you can pair it with anything. It's black, like I told you, black and gray are like my favorites for winter. I just absolutely love it. This scarf feels good. It's not too heavy and it's not too light. It's just that right weight for the fall time, which makes it a huge winner in my book. And I would buy this again. I know I, I got I know I purchased this from Saks. And I know and I did get it on sale and it was a good price. I only I don't know if they still have this one in stock because I got I purchased this probably like two or three years ago, but I've worn it over and over again and I absolutely have gotten my cost per wear. I love this one. And then the next item I want to talk to you about is my Chanel brooch. Now, again, I purchased this myself. <clears throat> Let me um, show you. This is how it comes. Um, it comes wrapped in. It's like this. I love it because it's simple. It's sophisticated without saying so much. And it has the gold and the silver which I absolutely love. And it's me. It's just me. Like I told you, my my style, my rustic glam. And, and that's what I love about it because this is truly me. I, I love this. Now, I do... I'm trying to get this off so I can show you guys. Now, I do wear this. I love the clasp on it. It hooks up in here. I don't know if I can show you, but it hooks up in there and it's secure. And it does not come off. And I just love everything about this. I love it because it looks really rustic. It looks like it's vintage. And that's another thing I like about it. It's very simple. It's just very simple. It's nice. Would I purchase it again? Yeah, I would because I, I love it. I mainly wear this with on, on my hat, like I said. And I also I also wear it on my shirt, on my sweaters in the winter as well. And in the fall, and ex especially on my jean jacket, I wear this one a lot. I've got a lot of um, wear out of this one. Now, I'm going to tell you the price of this. You might think I'm crazy. I thought I was too, but you know what? I purchased this when um, when I received a bonus. Um, when I received my bonus, and so I treated myself to this. So this is what I purchased. This I think I purchased this last year no maybe two years ago but this one is the rathemium golden brooch the um skew number on this is n as in nancy b as in boy 448 this brooch cost 525 dollars now you might think that is a lot for costume jewelry which it is 525 dollars is a lot for um costume jewelry but some things I won't purchase and some things I will. And this is the one of the things that I do not regret buying. I absolutely love this brooch. Like I told you, I get my wear out of it. It's Rathenia and it is the gold plated, but I love it. It's just simple. It's just beautiful. And it's just me. So, and the last thing I wanted, I want to show you lastly is uh, what I love, <laughs> my Burberry scarf. I had always wanted one of these. I had been, for years, I said, if I do happen to come into some money and can one day afford a Burberry scarf, I would definitely do it. But guess what? Look at the print of this. It, the thing that I like about it, it isn't your ordinary Burberry scarf look. It has the pink in it. It has the red in it. It has the purple, the white. Then it flows in to the signature Burberry print scarf. And what I love about it is it doesn't pill. It has no pilling. It is absolutely amazing. It's soft. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. I do not regret purchasing this. I purchased this with my own money. I think the scarf was $390. Is that a lot for a scarf? Yes. But let me tell you something. I love scarves. 
I get my cost per wear out of them. I wear them all winter long. I don't leave out without them. I just love this. And this one, I had to have it because it was so different. I didn't see anything. I did not see anything like this. Now, this one is, this one is wool and cashmere. I haven't seen anything like this. So when I seen this and the way it flows from the color into the signature print, it's just absolutely beautiful. I was like, do you love it? Look, do you love it? I just love it. Every time I look at this, it makes me happy. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So this is like this scarf right here is my favorite along with my Gucci. These are the two that I would purchase over and over and over again. The rest of them that I showed you, huh? no, I wouldn't purchase them. Matter of fact, I'm thinking about selling them. So keep, I know I keep saying that I'm going to have a, um, a sale. It's just timing with me. My kids are in football. They are in band. They're like doing a lot right now. We're very busy. So I am going to try to put, get that together, but I don't know when, but it's coming. It's coming. So just wait, it is coming. And I know that these two are really going to be on this Chanel and this scarf right here because I don't wear them and I'm trying to get rid of stuff that I don't wear in my closet. And if I can pass it on to somebody else who loves it and it'll have a better home than where it is with me, then that's fine. And I would love it because let somebody else get some wear out of it. So that is all I have for you today. Thank you. Comment down the bottom, which was your favorite accessory? Would you or would you not purchase it? And, and why? Do you think it's a bit much, a bit over the top? And what is your feeling about accessories? Let me know. Let's get to talking because I love um, talking with you guys. Also, I'm so sorry. I forgot to talk about my um, outfit at the, at the beginning of the video. So let me go over that real quick. Okay. So this these earrings are from TJ Maxx. They're silver, which I absolutely love. Um, I've had these for a couple of years. My watch is an Invicta, which I also had for a couple of years. This was a gift from Tony. Um, and then my David Yerman bracelet, which I absolutely love. So that's my jewelry that I'm wearing today. This top is from The Loft. I've had this for years as well. Oldie but goodie. My jeans are from Express. They have the whole, they're the light wash. They're good for summer. And spring and summer and they look good with pink they give you that light wash and then they match with the blue in my shirt and then i just have on my white patent um I'm, yeah my i'm sorry not my white my pink patent tory birch sandals which like i said are also my go-to very casual outfit just sitting around the house just ran errands today so very casual and still look uh, a bit polished to go out and run errands you know and still look presentable that's what I meant to say. So again, thank you very much for coming back to my channel. Thank you again to my OGs. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And to my new subscribers, please share my video and share and share again. Thank you so much. I love you guys and see you next Sunday. Goodbye.